Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Mike Flake, and this is Hector United. Hector, Mike. Today we're joining in on the World Tour Olympics, and this is the course. That's a tough one. As we see here, here's Jackson's coach giving last-minute tips uh, to our star athlete, Jackson Wisenhunt, who does have a gold medal in World uh, Chore Olympics. Last year he came in second, but he's looking to come up from that now. Uh, here we got another shot of him warming up right before the start time. Uh, so, yeah, all right, let's start it. Straight off of the buzzer, Jackson Wisenhunt's making a fast approach here. Uh, looks like he's going to be going for the cup strategy where he finishes using all the cups first. Uh, that's a pretty standard practice in the World uh, Chore Olympics here. Uh, you see he's almost finished with those glasses. Uh, and we're going to probably see him start moving down to the bowls any minute. Yeah, there, there are the bowls. Uh, what, what are you thinking about this, Hector? Yeah, this is, a, this is a really fast approach. He's making good time. Here we can see he's already on those plates. Uh, one more mug. Yeah, he, he probably missed that one. Uh, but now we're finishing up those bowls. We got plates and utensils left. Oh, my goodness. In one fell swoop, he's taking all the utensils. That's going to save him some major time. And look at that. He's still not slacking. Even on those final plates, he is still going strong one after one. Uh, he is filling up that dishwasher excellently. Yeah, and my, Mike, I just want you to see here how he flawlessly transitioned to putting away uh, the clean pots and pans and other kitchen utensils uh, really quickly there. there. There wasn't any gap in time. He went straight from filling up dishwasher to putting away the clean... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, hey, uh, sorry, Hector. I... What is this? It appears Jackson Wisenhunt made a small mistake. He missed where the pizza slicer goes. That could cost him some precious time. Yeah, Mike, no, you're absolutely correct. But notice how he has immediately transitioned, uh, forgetting his flaws, letting it go, and just improve, which is vital to the sport. Uh, you cannot dwell on mistakes, especially in a race against time such as this. Mm -hmm. And here we see Jackson putting away the final cutting board and now racing to the, the grocery bags where he will be putting on to the third leg of this race uh, where he has to take out all of the groceries himself. Ladies and gentlemen, as I'm sure you already know, this is the most time-consuming part of the entire time trial. Hector, what do you got to say about this? Oh yeah, no, this is classic. And as we see here, Jackson putting away the fresh produce section, uh, we, we, we do come back to memories of uh, heartbreak, but as well as major success throughout this, uh, this leg of the race. Uh, it is the most important, yes, the most time-consuming, but we also see where athletes really do shine in these tense, um, competitive uh, time trial sections. Uh, and and I, I really think this is where we're going to see Jackson Wisenhunt shine. Whoa, I do not believe it. He has tossed the dog treats on top of the refrigerator I haven't seen a trick like that. I, I can't even remember. Wow, extraordinary play. And the cookies. A perfect landing on the cookies, too. Oh, my goodness. This is genius in the making. Yeah, you know what, Mike? Uh, Jackson Wisenhunt's coach has told me that you have specifically been training for that throw for a couple of weeks now, needing to nail that right on the head to get it right to save themselves a couple of seconds, which they obviously ex executed phenomenally. I, I am as shocked as you are. I have not seen a move so smooth. And here we see Jackson Wisenhunt continuing to make strides through those grocery items, uh, putting them successfully. We just saw him put milk and orange juice in the same move into the same refrigerator spot. Um, and we see he's definitely making a dent in those grocery items uh, as we speak. Definitely see Jackson here getting frustrated, knowing time is only adding up, but space is decreasing drastically in this refrigerator. A common 
a characteristic in this part of the time trial to agitate its athletes. Yeah, and here he is putting away the brie, and looks like he can't find space to put the cartons of milk bottles, so instead he's just breaking them off individually and putting them in. Now that is ingenuity at its finest. You have to be able to adapt and overcome any challenge at any given second, which is what Jackson Wizenhunt is so good at in this game. Looks like he's almost done with the frozen section of grocery items. Uh, looks like that bag is almost empty too. Remember, he's already finished one bag. He only has this one and that center one to go left. And yeah, we, we do have confirmation. He has finished. Uh, he's putting away, uh, looks like some leftover produce he has not been able to put away yet. Uh, looks like it could be an avocado, something we know Jackson doesn't like. And another batch of limes. As this time trial is coming up to an end, Mike, can you tell the audience what Jackson Wizenhunt must be feeling right now? Oh, for sure. You cannot imagine the stress he is feeling right now. Uh, the amount of vigorous work, uh, the dedication, and the quick pace is just it's otherworldly. Most people can't even imagine it. Here he is putting in an onion. Uh, not much to say about that. Uh, he's stacking up on some of the last items in that bag. Uh, he's putting away the final items as we speak. He must be exhausted at this point. And he's thrown the garlic. Let's take another closer look at that in slow motion. <laughs> Here he is, placing the final item. Do you believe in miracles? I do now. He's placed it. He's finished. He has finished. The world is shocked. I can't believe it. It's a new world record. I cannot believe it, ladies and gentlemen. This is history in the making. A new world record. Look at his coach. Look at his family. Look at him. Look at him go. Listen to the screams. Listen to the cheering. The world is going crazy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you subscribed because that would let me know what you guys like. Um, like as well the video, please. Uh, that would be nice. Um, and I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I really had fun filming it and editing it, and I hope you guys had fun watching it. Uh, have a good day, and uh, adios.